Bush and Osama decided to settle the war once and for all. They sat down and decided to settle the whole dispute with one dogfight. They would have five years to breed the best fighting dog in the world and whichever side's dog won would be entitled to dominate the world. Osama found the biggest, meanest Doberman and Rottweiler female dogs in the world and bred them with the meanest Siberian wolves. They selected only the biggest and strongest puppy from the litter, and removed his siblings, which gave him all the milk. After five years, they came up with the biggest, meanest dog the world had ever seen. Its cage needed steel bars that were five thick and nobody could get near it. When the day came for the dog fight, Bush showed up with a strange-looking animal. It was a nine-foot-long dachshund. Everyone felt sorry for Bush because there was no way that this dog could possibly last ten seconds with the Afghanistani dog. When the cages were opened up, the dachshund came out of its cage and slowly waddled over towards Osama's dog. Osama's dog snarled and leapt out of its cage and charged the American dachshund, but when it got close enough to bite, the dachshund opened its mouth and consumed Osama's dog in one bite. There was nothing left of his dog at all. Osama came up to Bush, shaking his head in disbelief. We don't understand how this could have happened. We had our best people working for five years with the meanest Doberman and Rottweiler female dogs in the world and the biggest, meanest Siberian wolves. That's nothing, said Bush. We had Michael Jackson's plastic surgeons working for five years to make that alligator look like a weenie dog. God bless America.